Researchers turned a giant whale graveyard into a crime scene investigation. That is the coolest sentence I have ever said. Anthony Carboni here for D News, and in 2010, construction workers widening a highway found a whale graveyard in the middle of Chile's Atacama Desert, over half a mile away from the ocean. They found the remains of 75 whales, including 20 perfectly intact skeletons, on a stretch of land 240 meters long. Now that is the length of more than two football fields. Most of the fossils are from baleen whales that were about eight meters long, but they also found a sperm whale skeleton and the remains of extinct seabirds, tusk dolphins, and aquatic sloths, which sound like an absolute nightmare creature. The curator of fossil marine mammals at the Smithsonian's National Museum of Natural History said it's basically the dinosaur national monument of aquatic life. The fossils seem to be between two and seven million years old and the whole site was extremely well preserved and kind of far away from the ocean. It left the team wondering just how all of these animals got there because you've got all these different animals from all these millions of years all buried in the same place while the ocean line is changing and they're all mostly facing the same way. So how did that happen? Why aren't they spread out more, more randomized? So for the last four years, the Smithsonian has been analyzing the fossils and the site, and now they think they have the answer algae blooms. So you've got the Andes Mountains, which are really high in iron, and over the years, the iron gets washed down the mountain range into the Pacific Ocean near Atacama, and the water gets really rich in iron. It's a process called eutrophication. So you've got all this iron, and algae loves it and thrives off of it and starts multiplying into an algal bloom. And once those minerals get depleted, you get hypoxia. The algae dies, sinks, and decomposes, which uses up all the oxygen in the water. No oxygen in the water, and all the sea life starts dying off. It also starts messing with the temperature and mineral composition of the water. Toxic water plus no smaller life as food equals some really sick giant sea mammals. Now this happens in a cycle that repeats over and over through millions of years as that iron gets used up and then more gets washed back into the ocean. Now millions of years ago the Atacama Desert was a tidal mud flat. Now this is a coastal area where the tide comes in from the ocean and a bunch of sediment comes in from the shore and it all kind of collects. And the animals as they're dying, particularly the whales, move up the tidal flat onto the shore and beach themselves. More sediment comes down from the mountains and land washes into the plain, covering the dead animals in mud. Then more animals beach themselves years later after the next bloom, get covered in mud, and the mud plain builds up and changes, and eventually you're in a desert a half a mile from the ocean with a freaky whale crime scene on your hands. Algae blooms still occur in that area of the ocean, which led the team in the right direction to figure this whole thing out. You can check out the whole whale graveyard for yourself. They scanned in 3D models of the whole area that you can look at and zoom around. It's pretty insane. Whales as a whole are insane. They have graveyards, they get sunburned. I did a video about that before. You can check it out over here and be sure to subscribe here for more whale insight on a semi-regular basis. It's not like all whales.